Tyrese, just to start off, how's this experience going to be a little bit different than last year's in the World Cup? Just the composition of the roster itself seems a little bit heavier, a little more heavy hitting, right? Yeah, I mean, we're a little older, uh, <laughs> but more with 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 age comes more experience. Um, yeah, you know, I'm the second youngest guy in the team, so just learning from these guys as much as I can and. Um, you know, a lot of guys with Olympic experience. So I think that that's going to be a big benefit for us. Talking to people at USA, they looked at you and said, this is a guy who can be the change of pace guy. End of the first quarter, start of the second quarter, we want to get on a quick run. Tyrese is going to be the guy that can sort of feast on those, those units. Is that how you see it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i going to do whatever I have to do to you know impact the game, help the team win. Um, I think the great part about USA basketball is um, – you know, you got 12 elite basketball players, and it takes sacrifice to win. So whatever's needed from me is what I'm going to do to help the team win. Now, the last time we saw you on the NBA stage, you guys were in the conference finals, surprising run. Boston goes on to win the title. What do you take from that conference finals experience where you were in three of the four games in the last minute? Do you take that as how much further we have to go or how close we are? Um, I think for me, I just look at it as, you know, I think, it was a surprise to everybody except for the people in our locker room to see the run that we had. And um, I think moving forward now, it's kind of like we got to prove it. Like I think every year is, there's a new chip that gets added to my shoulder and us as you know, a collective to everybody. So I think everybody just wants to see us prove that we can do that again. And um, we still got a lot of confidence in our group. We're bringing back the same group. So um, continuity is proven to be a thing that's needed in this league to win. And so um, I'm glad we're bringing the same team back and look forward to it. Now, how difficult was it for you after the, the hamstring injury to come back and continue to play because of everything surrounding it with the contract and the stipulations? Did you feel like you were at full strength during the playoffs when you're playing every other day and you're nursing this thing basically since, what, January or yeah. so? I, w I mean, I would say, I mean, I never never really got back to 100%. Like, I struggled, especially when the games were close. Um, and it was frustrating, you know, and, and throughout the playoffs, it was kind of like, man, when this is done, I'm not going to touch a basketball before the USA. I'm going to, you know, try to give my legs some time to relax. And then I re-aggravated it against Boston. So, I mean, up in, I didn't touch a basketball until last week, you know, so I gave my leg a lot of time to rest, and I feel really good right now. So that's a big positive for me. And, um, yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it was frustrating all year because it never really got to 100%. And so hopefully, you know, after this and – now going back into the season, I'm at 100% ready to go. Now, the last time we also saw you, the Eastern Conference looked a lot different. Now you got Paul George with Philly. New York has loaded up a little bit. First off, do you embrace being like the heel? Nobody likes being like the crowd heel anymore, the sort of wrestling villain. Do you enjoy that, or is that just a label that we've put on you? <laughs> I think it's a label that's been put on me. I just like I like playing basketball, and I'm I'm – I understand that people don't want to see Indiana win anything. They don't want to see us do well. Um, you know, it's a small market team. It's for the majority of my life, Indiana has been looked at as you know boring or whatever the case may be. Um, so I just go into games, just understanding that it's whoever's in our locker room, whoever's in our travel party against the world, basically. You know, and so um, I think that that's been kind of added on to me because of the competition, the Milwaukee series, the competition in the New York series. Uh, it's kind of been added on to me, but I mean, whatever the media puts on me is what, what's put on me. I think at the end of the day, I just want to be known as a guy who gives us all and competes at 100% and um, just trying to keep doing that. But you kind of, it, it gives you guys an identity. For if sure. you do lean into it, if there's one thing that great teams all have, they have this identity. And if you're the giant killer, that's something you walk into any building and Everybody knows what's happening when Tyrese Halliburton and the Indiana Pacers are walking into your into your house. Yeah, well, no question. I mean, teams don't to take us lightly. They know what we bring to the table offensively. They know um, how we can get going on any night. So I think at the end of the day, regardless of what is the perception of, of us is, I think our peers know that they need to be ready when they play us. And um, I think that's, you know, that matters more than anything, that teams respect us enough to know that, that they got to be ready to play. And, um we know now that we had this success, every other team in our conference, every team in the league wants to have that success as well. And so, you know, when, when teams play us, they're going to be ready to go. It's no, no surprise, no anything. So that's the great part about it is not, not to say that we are now the, 
we went from hunting to being the hunted because we didn't win. Right. But I think that when you have success, teams look at you like we want to have success similar to that. So they're going to go at you. And I, I think that's the great part about it. Did you like the Madison Square Garden stage? I loved it. Did I you, loved did it. You, did you like being the guy that stopped the New York Knicks party? Everybody assumed that the Knicks, once you guys got by Milwaukee, everybody assumed the Knicks were going to be penciled into the conference finals and it was going to be Knicks Celtics. Did you relish breaking up that party? For sure. No question. No question. Just because I think of the the competitive history between the two franchises and being able to add another chapter to that. And, um, you know, I think early on, I think having Reggie there in game two and that, that added some extra juice to it. And, you know, after that, it just kind of was like our backs were against the wall going back home and we had to figure it out. And I think that was a great part about that series was just the, the competition and, um, you know, a lot of a lot of back and forth, you know, on the court and stuff like that. So I think it was a great series, great for the game. And if that's become a quote-unquote rivalry and now it's cool, um, I think it's just competitive. Seeing teams compete, seeing great players compete is always good for the league. Now, last thing, you're on this Team USA roster is a lot older, a lot different. Who do you look forward to playing with on it, throwing a lob to, getting getting up floor, setting somebody up or someone setting you up? Because you got Hall of Famers, you know, Mount Rushmore type of players. Who do you look forward to playing with the most? Well, I mean, top to bottom, it's hard to make that choice just because of, you know, everybody on our team, I would say, I mean, every half, maybe a little more than half of the guys, if they retired today, they'd be Hall of Famers, you know? So yeah. that's the, the privilege that I have to, to be on the court with these guys. but. Throw a lob is definitely LeBron, no question. Just because I grew up in the 2000s and LeBron being my favorite player growing up, and so now to share a court with, share the court with him and um, be in the locker room with him and pick his brain, and all those things has been has been awesome already through one day. So I just look forward to keep doing that on a consistent basis through this time here. So it's definitely it's definitely LeBron. No Are question. you doing any rookie chores? No. You're the young guy. Like they they could make you carry the bag. Hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically, uh, but it's not happening. I'm not doing nothing. No way. You a max guy? You a max guy? I mean, uh, I mean, I'm not the youngest guy. So if rookie duties were happening, it wouldn't be me. That's all I'm gonna say. But whose aunt would be? Aunt would, and is the younger and guy. And you know, aunt's not doing That's none point. of that. So he would pass it on to you. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not doing that either. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate it, man. Thanks yeah, a lot, man. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me.